have a look at this. You're all right, mate. You're all right. You're all right. This is a bandicoot. And you can see the teeth. And he's bearing them right at me. Really long snout. Very typical of a bandicoot. And he's got head trauma. He got nailed by a little fox terrier right in the head. But he's coming good. Ooh. See how he's got his mouth open, bearing his teeth? He's angry. And he's going to bite me. He's got his ears tucked back. But luckily, his eyes have come back out. When we first got him, he had his eyes all shut up. Look at his little front feet. He uses them to dig up his food source. Bandicoots are omnivorous. They'll eat roots, shoots, leaves, insects, any form of meat they can get hold of. You know, the other amazing thing with the bandicoot is they've got a pouch. That's right, they're a pouched mammal, which means they're a marsupial, and it faces backward just like another big marsupial, a wombat. Let's go and check a wombat out. Wombats are the most powerful diggers. You know, they're closely related to koalas. Here you go, sweetheart. They're the koalas nearest relative and you can see that body structure short stout very powerful very similar to a koala however koalas live high in the trees these guys live under the ground and they're a force to be reckoned with you'd think little wombat oh they're very cute just give them a big kiss and a cuddle wild wombats they're a formidable opponent so there's two species of hairy nosed wombats the southern and the northern the northern is critically endangered. There's only a handful left, and that's because of habitat destruction. They live in grazing area where the farmers destroy the trees, the shrubs, the bushes, and so the northern hairy nose is pushed to the furthest most limit where it could become extinct. What a shame. They're semi-nocturnal, but you will find them during the day, particularly early morning and late afternoon. Have a look at those ears. They've got great hearing. Their eyesight's not that good, but it's not too bad either. Powerful claws, both front and back, are used for digging. I mean, they're the ultimate excavator, as far as marsupials are concerned. And they're quick. You think, oh yeah, those funny little legs, stout little body, couldn't move very fast. They are real quick. Especially over short distances. Let's say a dog, maybe even a dingo's chasing them. Here's trouble. See how she's standing proud? Get out of it, Holly. At least with crocodiles, I know where they're coming from. Wombat, I got no idea. See how she's standing, ears pricked, really alert. And let's say a dingo or a dog's chasing them, they'll bolt down into their burrow, and their back end is like a piece of timber. They can just push that up, even be known to crush dogs. The wombat is a species of A, bats, B, wombs, C, marsupial. The correct answer is C, marsupial. What's a wom anyway? We've got some great shots coming up. Got oh, hi, Holly. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. What a good view. Ow. Oh, uh, whoops. Yep. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> I got away with wombat. We've had a lot of fun checking out all of Australia's pouched mammals, and I found the biggest one of all. Have a look at this little beauty. In true Australian fashion, I've got my marsupial pouch and my joey. Come on, joey. We're going. We'll see you next time. Bye. Woo!